My name is Nurozani Pintirudi with metric number of 279147. I will present the SWOT analysis of Bank Muamalat Malaysia Berhad. First, I will present introduction. Bank Muamalat is a significant Islamic bank that was created on 1 October 1999. Bank Muamalat is a governed by the Islamic Financial Services Act of 2013. By holding the honor as Islamic financial institution that fully fledged, Bank Muamalat Malaysia Berhad serves both people and institutions by offering a com comprehensive variety of services. Also, Bank Muamalat Malaysia Berhad provides all of the services that a top corporate and investment bank will provide to its commercial and institutional clients, including cash management, payment alternatives such as trade and export finance, foreign country trading, financing, and capital market activities. The first SWOT analysis of Bank Muamalat Malaysia Berhad is strength. Bank Muamalat Malaysia Berhad's strength is it is the Malaysia's second full-fledged Islamic bank. The bank has barely been in business for around five years, despite being one of the Malaysia's two Islamic banks. Despite the fact that Bank Negara granted five more licenses for Islamic banking at the end of 2004, it is anticipated that new participants will not be fully oper operational until the end of 2005. But compared to later entrants, Bank Puamalat Malaysia Berhad benefits from being the first. This is due to Bank Puamalat's 41 locations across across the country. Besides that, Bank Muhammad Malaysia Berhad's strength is the bank have strong shareholders. Strong investors in Bank Muhammad Malaysia Berhad include the Al Bukhari Group and Kazara National. Strong shareholders enable Bank Muhammad Malaysia Berhad to receive support for business prospects that result from group synergy as well as support in terms of finance. For instance, Bank Muamalat Malaysia Berhad might consider making customer banking services available to all employees of the businesses that make up the Al Bukhari and Kazana National Group of Businesses. Next, I will present the weaknesses of Bank Muamalat Malaysia Berhad. One of the weaknesses of Bank Muamalat Malaysia Berhad is its low loan base. Bank Muamalat Malaysia Berhad presently holds just 0.9% of all loans issued in Malaysian banking. Despite the fact that the firm was created five years ago, in actuality, the growth trend of its lending base is falling. If the number of branches is used as a proxy for a Bank's customer reach, Bank Muamalat Malaysia Berhad owes to have a higher market share of loans within the banking sector. Another weakness is Bank Muamalat Malaysia Berhad has expensive operational and investment costs. Branch network banking has a high initial setup cost, and the ongoing operational cost in terms of overhead consists of salaries and other ongoing expenses like rent and utility costs. This is the evidence that Bank Muamalat Malaysia Berhad's ratio on cost to income of 73.4% seven, is skyscraping than the industry average of 35.7%. Furthermore, the capital base of Bank Muamalat Malaysia Berhad is modest, with around 300 million ringgit Malaysia in paid up capital. Bank Muamalat Malaysia Berhad capacity to lend is in some way constrained. The largest loan that the bank can offer is 3.7 billion ringgit Malaysia with a, with a minimum risk weighted capital ratio of 8%. The bank can only increase its credit base by 1.43 billion ringgit Malaysia based on 2.27 billion ringgit Malaysia gross loan amounts from 2004. The lending base would need to be expanded further, which would need a capital infusion. Moreover, the bank's market-oriented culture is limited. 
Bank Muhammad Malaysia Berhad's current business model, which relies on walk-in customers at the Bank Muhammad Malaysia Berhad's branches for income, is not market-oriented. The other banks out there are seeking to enhance customer convenience by utilizing alternative delivery methods such as mobile sales force, internet banking, and phone banking, also known as high-touch and high-tech banking. Bank of Ahmad Malaysia Berhad has yet to, begi to begin on such initiative. Next, I will present the opportunities of Bank of Ahmad Malaysia Berhad. The growing popularity of Islamic banking is one of the opportunities. The Islamic banking business is growing in popularity as evidenced by its average annual growth rate of 20% since the inception in 1983. Malaysia's government attempt to promote Malaysia as an Islamic banking center are expected to accelerate the industry's growth even further. In Malaysia, Islamic banking is viewed as an alternative to traditional banking rather than a system that exists only to serve requirements of Muslims. Additionally, continuous growth in the customer banking industry is also an opportunity for Bank of Malaysia Malaysia Berhad. Customer credit demand, which presently account for approximately total loans of 40% in banking system of Malaysia, is expected to remain the primary driver of overall credit supply growth in the banking system. The demand for customer goods is increasing in the Islamic banking system. The Islamic banking system's proportion of customer demand is expected to grow to over 60% of total Islamic finance. This opportunity can increase the growth of customer of Bank Muhammad Malaysia Berhad. Furthermore, Bank Muhammad Malaysia Berhad may also be able to cross-sell non-banking products. In order to give maximum convenience to customers, banks have formed strategic relationships with the supplier of insurance and other non-banking goods, as well as services that may be combined with banking products and services. Banks would benefit from the commission of sales in such a setup, contributing to their bottom line. Bank Pohamad Misha Berhad could take advantage of the opportunity by forming strategic collaboration with Takaful and Islamic Unit Trust providers. Next, I will present the truth of Bank Pohamad Misha Berhad. Intensifying competitiveness is one of the treats. With the addition of five new participants, particularly three Middle Eastern institutions, competition in the banking business, particularly Islamic banking, such as Bank Muhammad Malaysia Berhad, will be heightened. It is because gaining customers' trust may not be a problem for these banks. They will almost certainly compete on the convenience by heavily utilizing information technology. This may not be a huge issue for them, especially if money is not an issue. It says that the scarcity of skilled personnel is also a treat for Bank of Malaysia Berhad. Because the number of Islamic banks in Malaysia that have been increased, the demand for employees who are not only knowledgeable about Sharia, but also about banking, also increased. Appropriately, all of the Islamic banks, including Bank Muhammad Malaysia Berhad, will have to require a comprehensive program in place to attract and retrain qualified individuals. In conclusion, SWOT analysis provides many benefits, especially to companies such as Bank Muhammad Malaysia Berhad. This is said to be so because companies can plan for the future through SWOT analysis. SWOT analysis is important in charting a road to capitalize on major business prospects. SWOT analysis enables businesses to discover potential opening far sooner and begin planning to supply excellent solutions and marketing camp campaigns before the opening occurs.